Scientists have successfully photographed a black hole, landed rovers on Mars, and sent spacecraft to the dark side of the moon. Yet one of the last unknown frontiers, and one of the most deceptively familiar, is on our very own planet. The oceans make up around 70% of planet Earth, yet over 80% of the world's ocean remains unexplored. Since the global boom of ocean exploration technology began in the 1960s, deep sea exploration has faced a number of barriers, and because it's difficult to protect what we don't know, only about 7% of the world's oceans are designated as marine protected areas. Exploring the ocean is both expensive and technologically challenging, for reasons that are not so surprising. Although you don't notice it, the pressure of the air pushing down on your body at sea level is about 15 pounds per square inch. If you went up into space above the Earth's atmosphere, the pressure would decrease to zero. However, if you went diving or hitched a ride in an underwater vehicle, those forces would start to stack up the further down you went. On a dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, which is nearly seven miles deep, you're talking about over 1,000 times more pressure than at the surface. That's the equivalent of the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing on your body. Robots created for deep sea ocean exploration must be able to withstand the high pressure that comes with depth, operate without the need for maintenance for thousands of hours at a time, and be able to resist the corrosive effects of seawater. Ocean exploration technologies have come a long way. Floats and drifters, devices that rely on ocean currents to carry them while they collect data, have been complemented in recent years by an ever-sophisticated fleet of underwater vehicles. This can include human-occupied vehicles, remotely operated ones, and autonomous and hybrid ones. It can take many hours for a submersible to get down to a target depth, let alone explore the environment. Given the substantial amount of time a submersible must remain underwater, all underwater robots must be built to be self-sufficient in a variety of circumstances. HOVs are submersibles designed to have people on board, whereas ROVs are operated by people remotely, typically from a ship at the surface. AUVs, on the other hand, are designed to be completely autonomous, exploring the ocean through pre-programmed missions. Once each mission is completed, the AUV returns to the surface for retrieval, at which point scientists get to process the data the AUV collected during its journey. While HOVs allow scientists to explore the deep ocean directly, they are the most limited of the three types of ocean-exploring robots when it comes to time underwater. Most HOVs can only dive for about five hours, whereas ROVs can easily stay down twice as long. To make the most of the limited time people can spend at depth in an HOV, research institutes will sometimes deploy an ROV to explore an area before sending an HOV. The initial information collected by the ROV informs the HOV's mission, enhancing the potential for discovery during the HOV's narrow dive window. Despite recent advancements in HOV technology, Expanding people's direct access to the deep, remotely operated ROVs remains simpler to operate and safer to use than HOVs. Seawater's chemical properties result in electrochemical reactions that can degrade metals. In addition to considering extreme pressure and long dive times, deep sea robots must be capable of withstanding seawater's corrosive properties. To combat corrosion, most submersibles today use polymers to create a protective barrier between the submersible's metal structure and the seawater. So the next time you're on the water, maybe on a yacht charter in the Bahamas or in the Mediterranean, you'll know that it's possible you're sailing over depths that remain unexplored. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.